Hello everyone, I'm Terry Hartley at Rustic Barn Cards. I'm an independent Stephanie demonstrator in Iowa. Welcome, I'm glad you're here. Today my project includes a card along with a box and I'm going to be using the Pick of the Patch stamp set. This stamp set and punch is so adorable and I love that bird in the stamp set so I wanted to incorporate that in my project today so I hope you like the projects plus I wanted to remind you if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel please consider that by clicking that subscribe button I really would appreciate it and if you are a newsletter subscriber then you will receive week one of the 12 weeks of Christmas series that I am sending exclusively to my newsletter subscribers and all of the projects on there will not be shared anywhere else. And I have teamed up with two other demonstrators, Connie from Great Stamping with Connie and Sarah from Handmade After Dark. And we are bringing, the three of us are bringing you these 12 projects, one each week, and that starts this week. And today is September 26 of 2023. So if you would like to, you can still get on on this. This is all free. You just need to sign up for my newsletter. And in the description, you'll find the link. Click on that, sign up, and you will receive all 12 weeks of the 12 Weeks of Christmas series. If you miss out on a week, if you sign up on week three, or maybe you sign up today, but I've already sent the newsletter out, don't worry because the next week, you will have links to be able to go back and watch all of the videos and projects that you have missed. But the sooner you sign up, the sooner you'll be on my list and you'll get all of those in your inbox. All right, let's turn this camera down and let's start stamping. Okay, so here's the stamp set we're going to use today, the pick of the patch. Before I continue, I did want to uh, add that for my 12 weeks of Christmas series, you receive a video with a project plus a free downloadable PDF tutorial. So, and that is for all my newsletter subscribers. Kind of a way to thank everyone for being a subscriber. Okay, so the Pick of the Patch stamp set, A Heart with the Blessings, You're the Pick of the Patch, Happy Halloween, Cutie Pie, and Thanks So Much. What I love about this set is that it can be a, it can be for fall, or of course any season, but it can be for Halloween, but it doesn't have to just be Halloween. You can add the little jack-o'-lantern faces to the pumpkins, but you don't have to, and then you have a fall card. And there's that cute little bird that I was telling you about, some leaves and some um, tree branch, and some dots, a leaf stamp here, and um, again, it's for kind of like leaves for your pumpkins and little uh, curlicues. Okay, and then you have a punch and it punches out two of the images and then the little uh, stem and the, the leaf. All right, let me show you the card we're going to make. I'm gonna change it just a little bit. So I, well, I started out with this card and again, I added that bird and so I did, um, a layer of basic white cardstock on basic white card base. Okay, so then I decided to change that, and that's the card we're going to make today. So here is the sample, and I decided to use pumpkin pie for my card base. Of course, you could use any color for your card base, and then I stamped on my basic white layer, and I embossed this early espresso strip here, kind of making the Pumpkins look like they're kind of like up on a fence or something. It's kind of what my thought process was anyway. And then I popped up this layer with uh, the basic white layer with dimensionals. So let me show you how I created this card. And then we will uh, create um, the little box. So I'm starting with my pumpkin pie card base and this is just a basic card base which is eight and a half by five and a half and I scored that at four and a quarter 
And then I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of burnish the edges and I'm going to set that aside so our card will open this way. Of course, you can have some cards open this way, but this time it's going to be more of the landscape. And then I'm going to bring in basic white layer to stamp on. And I do have two of the same size, and this is five and a quarter by four, because one we're going to put inside, and we are going to do a little stamping on it, and then our other layer is going to go for the front of our card. Okay, so let's go ahead and add um, in our sample card, if you open it up, then I have a pumpkin on the inside. So we're going to go ahead and add that first. I'm going to bring in some pumpkin pie ink. And I'm going to bring in the large image. And we'll ink this up. Now these are photopolymers, so I could grab my... Uh, piercing mat to kind of give me a little bit of a cushion. And I'm okay if you can see it's kind of like a two-tone, but I think that even makes the pumpkin a little more realistic, right? And then I'm going to grab our garden, bring in our garden green. And this is our stem. One end of the stem is a little bit larger, so I'm going to put that at the top. But I think it really doesn't matter. And here's that one of the curly cues. You have two to choose from. And I'm just going to attach that right there. And then I've our, I've going, I went ahead and added it to the inside of our card. And then bringing in that other basic white. It's also five and a quarter by four, and that we're going to stamp on this. I am going to bring in a ruler and a pencil. Now, for my layer, I have it's a the five and a quarter is across the top, and I'm going to from the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and make a little mark at an inch from the bottom. So from here to here is an inch. I'm going to make a little mark on the other side. Now you will not see this, so it's all okay. Then I'm going to draw a straight line. You won't have to erase it or anything because we will be covering that up. And now we're ready to do some stamping. I'm going to be using a pumpkin pie, Cajun craze, Calypso coral, and garden green. So those are the stamp sets I'm going to be using today. And I'm going to start with pumpkin pie, and I'm going to start with our large pumpkin. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this a little bit, and then part of part of it's going to be off of the cardstock. Just like that. I have brought in clips of coral. I'm going to do um, another larger, the large, uh, and I'm going to set this one straight up. And you can go right above that line because we are going to cover that up. And then I'm going to, I have the clips of coral out. I'm going to go ahead and bring in this image, which is kind of a longer pumpkin. And I'm going to turn it just a little bit like that. I'm going to come back in with our pumpkin pie. And I'm going to bring in the medium size that I call it. It's also the one that you can punch out. And I'm going to stamp that right here. Just like that. Then we're going to add one in Cajun Craze. Oh, and let's use the large, the larger image of the pumpkin for Cajun Craze. 
and again I'm going to turn that a little bit and part of it will not be on the card so I have my garden green ink out and I'm going to go ahead and add the stems so I'm going to go ahead and ink this up and we are going to add our little stems here and I don't think I'll put one on on this one I could and I maybe I'll come back and do that let's see I don't think I need our garden green again I've already cut out um, I've stamped and punched out using Cajun craze I have I stamped ahead of time and punched out our little leaf and I also have our stem now in our uh, you can put these stems or you can use it either way you want you can use the large end down here and you can add it behind your pumpkin or you can also add it uh, in the front of your pumpkin um, on our card that I shared I added it behind but I think I'm going to add this one in the front so let me find my take the pick tool and I'm going to bring in this glue dot and then just make it roll it around so it is kind of a circle so it'll fit right there on that large part of the stem And if I want to bring it down just a little bit more, I can. And I think I want to just like that. Okay, before we add this, we're going to bring in um, early espresso. And I've already uh, cut this. And this strip is a half of an inch by five and a quarter in early espresso. And then I use one of our embossing folders. This is uh, one of three, called three basic embossing folders that are in our online uh, uh, exclusive products. So I just placed that early espresso and strip of cardstock, ran that through, and then you have a little bit of texture. So then I'm going to place that. So we have that pencil mark. So I can, you know, I've got plenty of room. I, mean, I can decide whether I want it down like this or whether I want it up like this. But as you can see, I'm going to cover just the bottom edges. So it kind of looks like they're sitting there on the behind on the fence. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring my adhesive in. But before I do that, um, Let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment. I'm going to give you a couple ideas for the sentiment. You could stamp it on a piece of scrap paper and then you can tear around the greeting and you would have something you would have like this and you could pop that up right down here at the bottom. So that is one way that you could stamp your, your uh, put your sentiment on there. I'm going to bring in our memento black and we are just going to go ahead and stamp it at the bottom of the card and I'm going to put mine about right here a harvest of blessings now I'm going to add adhesive but you most certainly could pop up this this fence that's another idea so there's just lots of ideas so i'm going to bring that about right here we have a little more stamping to do because i want to add our blackbird on our card And then, of course, you want to get it straight. And then let's go ahead and add our little bird. 
I think that little bird is so cute. So I we'll ink him up, and then I'm gonna have, I'm gonna tilt him a little bit so he's flying, and he sees those pumpkins. And now let's add, bring in some dimensionals, and go ahead and pop up this pumpkin. I don't know that I, I could have got by with probably uh, two dimensionals if I would have placed them in a better position, but since I didn't, we're going to just go ahead and add that all oh, about right here. So you still see that pumpkin. So we're going to add that right there. And then let's go ahead and bring in our card base. And we are going to pop, pop up this layer. And I'm just using five dimensionals. I always like to put one in the middle. So one in each of the four corners. I've taken the backings off. And then we are going to try to line that up. Where we want it before we get it placed where we want it and then go ahead and there we go now a couple more things that we need to do let's bring in some linen thread and we're going to tie a little bow we're going to add some embellishments we also want to add this leaf and you can add a glue dot or you can add a dimensional. So I'm going to add a dimensional and then I'm going to add that right here on our pumpkin. Then I'm going to go ahead and tie a bow with our linen thread. And we will add this bow on here. Bring in my snips. And I'll need a glue dot. And once again, I will want to use my take your pick tool to make that smaller. Just kind of roll it around a little ball. And then we're going to place that about right here. And you can do a little snipping of the strings of the bow. And then let's go ahead and bring in some of our embellishments. And I'm using these adhesive back speckled dots, which I love. And we are going to use the green. So let's go ahead. And I'm going to pick up the larger green and I'm going to place that over here. And then we'll put one about right down here. Okay, so you can see this is a quick and easy card. We're going to make a little a treat box to kind of go with our card in just a second. Actually, we'll be basically we'll be decorating a card. And I hope you like this card. So here is the card that we made. Here is my sample card. And then here is the card that I that started. This one's kind of started everything and then I changed it a little bit. So let me know if you like the card. Now let's make that treat box. Before we start on our treat box, uh, last week I made a Christmas card using Regal Reindeer. And you could win this card by leaving a comment. So congratulations to Veronica. And your name was drawn. I will be sending this card and an envelope to you this week. 
So be looking for some happy mail. All right. We are going to actually um, use a treat box that's already designed for us that makes it really easy. And these are the scalloped gift card boxes and you receive 10. And these, it has a little insert where you can put a gift card. You don't have to add the insert, but again, this just is really quick and easy to put together. So I'm going to show you how easy this is. And then we are going to decorate it similar to our card. And that way you could give a card and even a little gift box. And of course, uh, maybe you have a birthday and you could put happy birthday instead of a harvest of blessings. And then <clears throat> this is going to fold back the opposite way. The scallop will fold back the opposite way. Okay, so what you do, which is, again, it's just really, really easy. And <clears throat> you're going to go ahead and bring this fold up, and it has a couple tabs. And you're just going to put it right like that. And then these tabs fold in. This comes up and folds over. place to tuck it in and then again the tabs the little flaps you bring the flap up and the tabs go in and I think I folded that the wrong way but then you have your scallop edge like that of course you could I guess put it inside but I don't think it'll really fit because you want that scallop edge to look really pretty there and then here, you fold this back, you put a gift card in here, and there you go. But again, you don't have to put a gift card. You could also use this insert by tucking this up this way if you wanted to, and put it in like this. And you could also put a gift in there. So we are going to decorate and we're going to be use, making a belly band for this. Now I'm going to show you uh, one that I've already uh, put together, but I used a deckled circle. So this is my sample and I used um, basic white deckled circle, but we're going to use a square from the stylish shapes and, uh, and see which one that we like the best. So we're going to change it just a little bit. So I'm bringing in pumpkin pie cardstock, and this is two inches by ten and a fourth. And then, because uh, we're going to make a belly band, I also have, I've already stamped and cut out some pumpkins. I did fussy cut our little bird and fussy cut this shape. This one is not, does not have a punch for it, but all the rest of these uh, have punches, so. So I'm going to lay this down and then I'm going to bring this around and then I'm going to kind of crease it right here. Then like that. I'm going to slide that out and I'm going to use my bone folder to make those edges just those, those folds a little crisper but see how I want to make it sure that this edge is even before I do this and when I fold this on the fold I want to make sure these edges are even all right so now we're going to lay that aside and I'm going to bring in on the stylish shapes, I'm going to bring in the square and it's the largest square that's in the stylish shapes. And then I have cut some early espresso and these are let's see half inch strips and they're about, they're two and uh, three quarters in length. 
So I'm kind of, what I'm wanting to try to have the illusion of like a basket. So I'm going to start with, uh, so I'm just going to lay these down before I go ahead and attach them. So I'm going to bring this all the way down to the edge, I think. And then just have a little bit of basic white showing. So it looks like a basket. And then we, and I'll get them straight because it's not straight. And then we'll be able to add our pumpkins. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive. And I'm going to put that right at the edge of our square. I have white grid paper and I have, let's bring in my silicone craft sheet so I can see if I have it covered. There we go. And then we're going to put the second strip on. And I'm going to just show a little bit of basic white through there. Now on this strip, um, I may want to tuck some of the pumpkins in. So I'm going to just put adhesive along one edge of my strip like that. And then we'll place this down. Okay, and now we are going to be adding some of our pumpkins. All right, let's just go ahead um, and place that. I'm going to place that maybe right there. Hmm. Well, let's see, something like that maybe. So you can just kind of just, you know, I think we will start with this one over here. So something like that. All right, let's go ahead and bring in some dimensionals. going to put it on the one side, on the right hand side of our pumpkin because I'm going to then tuck it in like that. And I'm thinking I want this one up here. So I'm going to bring that right like that. And I don't think I'm going to pop this one up, so I'm just going to add some adhesive right there. And then we will pop this one up with some dimensionals. And we will put that about right here. And then okay, let's go ahead and we will turn this one and a couple dimensionals and I'm going to tuck him behind that other one kind of like that and then this I'm going to pop up 
right on here. So I'm just going to put dimensions at the top and then I'll put uh, some glue, some adhesive at the bottom. So I'm just putting two at the top and then and I could go ahead and have popped him up too at the bottom of the and maybe I should have just went ahead and put a dimensional down here, but I think we will be fine. Now let's add our little stems and we have our little bird to add. And we'll make a bow. So let's see what we're going to use. Let's go ahead and bring in our glue dots. Before I do that, I'm going to bring in Cajun Craze. I'm going to ink up this medium pumpkin and on the punch it's sideways so I'm going to go ahead and stamp it like this and then bring in my punch and then I can line that up And then notice that the larger pumpkin is stamped this way. Well, I was just talking along and then my phone that I'm using to record uh, said I was out of memory. So I'm not sure where I left off, but hopefully I'm okay. Um, I need some more stems. So I'm going to... Just ink up my little stem with Garden Green. And I will just stamp three of those. And then bring in my punch. And then we'll just punch those out just like Just like that. So I did the other two. I'm going to bring in pumpkin pie. I'm going to bring in the medium pumpkin. And then I'm going to ink this up. And I'm going to stamp on basic white cardstock. And show you how easy it is to punch this out in case you didn't see that. So I'm just going to click it this way because notice the medium is on this side. So I can just place that right in here. And line it up. Maybe. There we go. And then we have a pumpkin. Okay. So if we have, we want to add some more, we can. So I'm going to go ahead, I uh, added this stem. So let's bring in the glue dots. And take your pick tool. And then I'm just going to, again, just put that and roll that up. And add it to our stem. And do that again. And then before I go any further, let's see if we want a pumpkin up here. Mm, I'm not sure that we do. I mean, we could definitely put one in our little basket right here if we wanted to. But um, let's go ahead. I think I'm just going to use a glue dot to add some leaves. So I don't really need to. I can just pick that up. I don't have to twirl that around to make it any smaller. I'm going to add a leaf right here. And... 
Now, another way, I wouldn't have to do it that way. I'll show you probably a better way in a second. Is just to, here's your glue dot, and then I can take my leaf and I can just press it right here. And then I can pick that up if you have nails. If you don't have nails, you're going to need to use, take your pick tool or, or something. And then let's go ahead and add this stem. And we'll put that about right here. All right, so it's coming together. Um, I think we're going to add this to our uh, belly band and then finish the decorating on after we have it on our belly band. So let's bring in our little gift box, little treat box. Now what I like to do, you could, so I can fold it this way, but then I'm going to have this seam showing and I don't like that. So therefore I'm going to put this nice pretty edge on the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to bring, this is the top. So I'm going to bring this like this. And then I am going to, and I think it looks like I can just even snip a little more off. So maybe 10 inches, 2 by 10 is all you need. And then I am going to adhere this together. So I'm going to bring in my adhesive. You can also use tear and tape. I think I have way more glue than I need. And I already see that I've made a mistake. Can you see what I did wrong? I put the uh, glue clear at the bottom, but yet some of that, it's not. So let me cut a, another one really quick. Well, I hadn't done that before. But anyway, so I cut two by ten, and I've already folded it around the, the gift box. So that is something then do not do. So when you fold it like this, you see there is a little bit of a gap here. So when I put the glue all the way around on this, then I would have had glue right here. So you don't want to do that. Okay. So I'm going to add some glue right here. Just part way up. And line that up. And then you can take your bone folder. All right. Now, you want to make sure before you make sure that it will slide off and on. You don't want it too loose. You don't want it too tight. But you want to check that, which mine is fine, before you um, put your topper on. So we are going to add our topper, and then we're going to finish our finish decorating this. So I'm going to add dimensionals, and I'm bringing them in just a little bit because I want it to be on the orange. So I've got you know two inches to do. Matter of fact, I think I need to bring that over, but we'll see. And then we'll take the backings off. And I can line this up to make sure that it's going to be on, be on the, the uh, cardstock. Because if it isn't, then your belly band will not come up, will not slide off get that on there straight and everything looks good so far so that's good okay now let's add our little bird 
and I'm going to pop him up about right there. You want to take a probably a mini. Need a mini dimensional if I can get one on the body and one on the tail. And we will pop him about right. Maybe make it look like he's on the rim of the basket. How does that look? Mm, not sure I like that. There we go. Okay, now we want to add a harvest of blessings. So just take a strip of scrap. And I've already stamped a harvest of blessings. And I think I'm going to take my snips. So I added the strip sentiment with a, with one mini dimensional, added the bow and the gems, and just wanted to show you that your belly band just slides right off. And then you can go ahead and add something, a gift or something inside. And then just go ahead, put your belly band back on and there's your topper and here is the first gift box that I did with the belly band so um, I used a deckled circle and made my basket the same way and here I used stylish shape square so you can decide which one that you like the best I don't have any gems on this one but of course I would definitely add those So what did you think? Did you like the projects today? I sure hope you do. So let me know in the comments if you liked the projects, if you liked the card or the scallop gift box topper that we made and um, give it a try. I would love to see what you come up with. Again, I'm Terry Hartley at Rustic Barn Cards. Thank you for watching. I will see you next Tuesday. Have a great week and see you soon. Bye for now.